Okay, so for chapter 11, here we go. So the first thing you can do is ignore basically all the puzzles in this level. Just climb straight up here into this corner and look down and see. That's where you start, you're facing this direction. Climb up the wall, you want this corner specifically. It's opposite the uh, little gold guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip upwards. It's the only time in the game that we do this, so this clip is a little weird. First triangle, I try and line it up with the um the shadow here that you can see. Try it up like that. And bring the other point around like this to about there. So like this seam, this darker block. And then on that same point, and just make a vertical line here about halfway on this beam. So then you want to make a triangle like this. Make it pretty level and a little bit below halfway up the uh, blocks. Then you're actually going to release control so you're not crouching. And you can hit jump. Sometimes uh, you can hear grunting as you're trying to like grab onto wedges and pull up. But it's not going to work. Uh, sometimes if you just hit jump a few times it'll like let you jump up and just clip you through immediately. And sometimes you have to do this and get like multiple triangles. Sometimes it launches you up super high and sometimes it just barely pops you up at all. As long as you get up here, that's going to save a bunch of time. So come over here. Uh, we do need to block the laser beam to be able to get to the altar. And get that nice noise to confirm that you've done it. And then when you come in here, you want to run off of like this uh, dark block here. That you'll land on this ledge over here. You have to actually... Oh, how far back am I? Oh, there we go. Uh, you have to actually hold space to grab onto the wedge when you're falling in. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so here we're going to do another unique clip. I think this is the only place in the run where we do a uh, layer clip. Basically what we're going to do is make a triangle. The lineup for it is not super specific. You just need up here, kind of close to the corner. Down here, kind of close to the edge, and then over here, just kind of in the middle, uh, vertically, and then closer to the wall, horizontally. Right, and then what you're going to do from here is just keep making triangles that are, you know, about the same, but kind of moving them a little bit closer to the wall each time. And what this is doing is it's making the space that you're in smaller and smaller, and eventually the game will just push you through the wall. The space will be too small for you to be. Sometimes when you're inside the bars like this, you can face... <laughs> sometimes this happens. Sometimes you can face that way and press space and it'll just push you through. Uh, and sometimes this happens where I'm actually in between triangles. But don't panic if this happens. It's not the end of the world. You can still go through, but sometimes it kicks you out on this side. In which case, luckily, you get three quick saves. So. Let's reload this one then. Okay. It's a little annoying. It's vibrating a lot, but that's fine. There we go. Back here. Mm. This is being not at all cooperative right now. If you're ever having trouble like this, don't be afraid to just delete all the triangles and start over. So you can get through this in like three or four, maybe even two if you're really good, if you're really lucky. Good and or lucky. <laughs> uh -huh. So if, you, if you're on like triangle five or six or seven, don't be afraid to just be like, ah, whatever. And start over. Also, if you're really having trouble with this, you know, don't be afraid to make a hard save. This only keeps your three most recent quick saves. It can be a pretty good idea to just hard save here for safety in case you have like three bad quick saves that are all launching you like straight down or whatever okay so far so good please game please just let me through i need to continue the tutorial There we go, finally. Yeah, this is what'll happen. Is eventually it'll just be on this side. 
Very, very occasionally. Uh, I've had it clip me like kind of downwards. I landed on their, um, these red boxes all over this section of the map. And I like landed on top of some that are below this area and you can actually build triangles to climb back up here. Like I can't really intentionally get that clip to show it, but if you clip down or if you get sent downwards like that, it's not necessarily the end of the world. Basically what you do down here is you'll be able, you won't be able to see the floor, but you'll see the walls. And so you can build a triangle like this and like jump up to it and grab onto it and pull yourself up. Oh, just in case that happens. It's pretty unlikely. It happens very, very rarely, but it's worth knowing. And then run off and grab that. Then while you're falling, build this triangle because it's faster to run up this than to haul yourself up the edge. Uh, and then when you uh, avoid out here, when you run off, you want to turn around 180 degrees. You can do that while you're falling and not before you fall. Because for what this void out, uh, it retains the position you're facing. So if you just run out without uh, turning around, you'll be facing this direction. But if you start falling and then turn around, you'll face this direction. A nice little time save. So now we go along the left wall to get to the next puzzle. And whenever I get to these corners on the wall, I always crouch to go over them. Because if you like sprint over them, you can be fine. But the crouching, uh, it, it kind of kills off all your momentum. So you don't have to worry about like if you're going to land on the triangle. So I've had times where I've like sprinted and the triangles are a little too far apart and I don't land on it and I just fall. <laughs> Very silly. And so from here you can build a triangle like this. Uh, you can also just run. Uh, if this triangle isn't there and you run and the, you're close enough to the edge, you'll flip around just in time for your feet to land like here. So you don't need that final triangle, but it will be safe. Then I'll extend the bridge. We need that later. So this puzzle, uh, if you play this casually, you probably got really annoyed at this, maybe. Or maybe you found this strategy, who knows. Uh, but we're going to do this in one triangle where you put the first point down there, second point up in this corner, and the third point uh, at this darker colored square. Go to the corner and go like a little bit up. And we're going to do here, see, that crystal is in that laser beam that whole time as it's rotating around like for almost half of this. And that opens it up all the way. A very handy strat. And you just go straight through. Hit the lever to open that door permanently. Now, I don't know if this is the intended strat or if this is just a thing that I found, but do that, quick save. You're, you want to build these as low as possible, and you can kind of see the dark green border. Just build things along there. And then, you know, make sure that whatever color is right, you know, in this case yellow, to make sure it's level, so you're not just going to slide off. And then come up here to about where the foxes are painted on the wall. And make a triangle like this. So, and then you should be about, about like a little bit kind of beneath the, uh, where the weaver and where this platform is. And then put one point there on the wall, kind of below the lever. And then two points like this. If you just run off, your gravity corrects itself and you land on the triangle. Extend the bridge, because we need it. And now this part, uh, if you don't want to do the clip, it doesn't save a whole lot of time. It's only like a couple seconds to get it first try. So you could totally just go around blocking the laser beams and stuff, as kind of intended. I'm going to show the uh, clip strat anyway. You need this to stand on, and you kind of want it as close to this as possible, to um, this ledge. This is going to be good enough, should be. And then you want ones on either side, and what these do is they help keep you inside this section, and because if you just try and clip right through it right now, uh, it'll shoot you off to the side and you'll die. So then you come here and crouch, and You'll kind of be both on the triangle and also on this ledge. It's a little wonky. So put one point up here, above the glass. And then your two points down here, pretty close. And then just turn around. And your icon should change in the hand, so you can just grab it. Even though you're not clipped all the way through. Uh, you're far enough through that you can grab it. 
but then you're just leaving and when you get to this hole uh when you drop down here you want to want turn around 180 as you fall but also try and grab the box because if you grab it or if you don't grab it you'll collide with it and it stops your momentum and it just takes longer for you to fall so you want to grab it and you have to move it anyway so it's super heavy it's like got extra mass or whatever so it slows you down even more than a normal crate does so when when you're coming down here just you know right click to throw it down and don't carry it with you so you're going to move really slow now for this part just make sure these two points are pretty level i put the third point up pretty high well relatively high. this might actually be too high i would put it a little bit lower than that because you want to have a nice big space for you to click on and yeah that point was too high it was too steep but basically when you're at the other side of the room and you're going to you know click on it from far away if it's really level it's just very small so this gives you a nice big area to click on then you're through and then that's it for this chapter